In this video, I'll be teaching you my move, Chimera. And so, this is a very complicated interlock move. So, I'll be doing this very slowly and just make sure you follow all the steps. So, to begin, you want to have your right thumb and middle come over and contact the top left and bottom left corner of the deck, right? But you want to contact it towards the bottom here. Not on the top here, but on the bottom here, right? What you're going to do is you're going to split off the packet from the bottom like so. Then you want to shift your thumb, your left thumb, to the top left corner and have your index on the bottom right corner. Right? And what you're going to do with these two fingers is you're going to slide a packet outwards like so. Okay. And so you want to extend these two packets outwards simultaneously. So what you're going to do is with your, with your right hand you're going to be sliding this packet outwards and with your left hand you're going to be sliding this packet outwards. So when you do that you get this instantaneous three packet opener here. All right? Then you're going to turn your right hand palm down and let this packet here go through your right thumb and middle until you reach this position. Then you want to clip the bottom packet with your right ring and pinky. Clip the whole deck, the whole packet like so. And you want to and then you want to turn your left hand palm down. And this packet should naturally go through the hole between your right thumb and middle. Okay? Then you're gonna grab the bottom packet here with your left thumb and index, like so. And this way you can let go of your right ring and pinky. Okay, so now you're in this position. Then you want to slide this packet gripped on the right hand through this hole between your left thumb and index. All right? And you wanna clip the bottom packet here with your middle ring and pinky. So you should be able to extend it like so. Right? So you no longer need to contact it with the thumb here. You can let go of the thumb and you can extend this packet like so. And so here comes the best part of the move. You then want to slide this packet through the hole between your right thumb and middle and you're gonna slide this packet clipped between your middle ring and pinky also through this hole. And so this packet gripped on the right hand should reach the back of your left hand here. And you're gonna slide this packet through the hole between your thumb and the index like so. Once you're here, curl your, uh, your left middle ring and pinky inwards and Pause slightly to display the three packets. Then extend this packet back out and bring this packet clip on the right hand through the hole between your index and uh, left index and thumb. Right? Then you're going to bring this big packet clip between your left thumb and index through the hole between your right thumb and middle. And now you're ready to close the move. Now you're gonna have your right pinky come over and contact the short edge of this packet here. And you're gonna let go of your left thumb. And what you're gonna do is you're going to pivot this packet like so. Right? Pivot it around your left index until you're in this position. All right. Then, with your left hand, you're going to curl this packet inwards. And with your right hand, you're going to press this packet downwards with your index. And then, you want to then first have the packet from your left hand pushed over on top of the packet here, and then you're gonna push the right packet also on top. 
Then to close, all you gotta do is let the packet fall on your index, middle, ring, and pinky of your left hand and flip it over with your right hand and you're back in dealer script. All right? So that was very complicated, so I'll go through that again. All right, so I'll do this slowly. Grab this packet here. And then grab another packet with your left thumb and pinky. Extend these two packets to form this three packet display here. Turn your right hand palm down and this packet should naturally go through your right thumb and middle. Clip the bottom packet with your ring and pinky. Then turn your left hand palm down. All right. Then grip this packet between your left thumb and index. Then slide the packet from your right hand through your left thumb and index. Clip the bottom packet on your left hand between your middle ring and pinky and extend it outwards. Then bring your right hand downwards, letting this packet go through. Then have this packet clipped between your middle ring and pinky also go through the hole between your thumb and middle on the right. Then pull this packet through your left thumb and index. Curl your left, uh, the your middle ring and pinky of your left hand inwards to briefly display this pack, the three packets. Then extend it back out. Bring the packet between your right thumb and middle through the hole between your thumb and index of the left. Then bring this packet on your left hand downwards through this hole. Place your pinky on top of this packet on the short edge here. And let go of your thumb. You're gonna pivot this packet in. Place, curl your uh, left middle ring and pinky inwards. And at the same time, push downwards with your right index. Place this packet from the left hand on top and then this packet on the right hand on top. And then let the whole deck fall onto your left index, middle ring, and pinky. And flip the whole deck over with your right hand. And that completes the move. So here are two tips to help you practice this move. The first is simply to go through the tutorial as many times as necessary. Because interlocks are really the hardest type of move to teach and to learn because when I'm in the tutorial, my hands will always be blocking some part of the move. And so, make sure you go through this tutorial multiple times, including the slow motions, because there are two angles there, and make sure you know the exact finger positions of every part of the move, all right? And the second tip is that while you're grabbing the packets while doing this move, say like in the beginning here, you wanna make sure that you're grabbing these packets as far away from your palm as possible you're gonna create this space here. You want, to make, you want to make this space as wide as possible because you'll have packets going through here in and out, right? And so if you grab the packet, say like this, it'll, it'll be a lot harder for packets to go through here. And even if they can go through, they will often bump into these fingers here. And while you can still do the move, it will look less smooth every time your finger bumps into a packet. So make sure that when you're grabbing these packets, no matter if it's on the left or the right hand, that you're grabbing them as far away from your palm as possible, creating this wide space over here, right? And those are our two tips for the move.